thank you for joining us today. I make daily videos on Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes, um, going through the daily grind, showing what it's like playing this game every day, following the AP Gains Farming Guide. Later on in the future, we'll see how much that changes, but for right now, AP Gains Farming Guide video every day, usually going out around 9 a.m. Eastern. So please check back if you enjoyed this video. I also have a playlist showing all of my previous videos building up to today. Now, if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the notification bell so you can get notified whenever I post my video because I do go live on YouTube and Twitch. So please find my uh, Twitch link in my channel. I do have it linked. Follow me over there. I also have a Discord link in the description of this video. Please click on that link. Join me on Discord. I have a nice Discord community. They are very supportive, very kind, very helpful. We have a lot of fun with it. Um, I have a lot of fun making these. I hope you enjoy this. Please comment down below. Let me know if you enjoy this video. And you have a nice day. Now let's get on into this. Hello and welcome to day 60 of our a of our free to play farming guide. Um, this has been two full months. And you know I'm still making the videos. I'm still having a fun time. I'm still enjoying it. And I'm still getting support from all of you guys. So thank you for all of that. Um, I, it has been a good two months and I, I'm looking forward to the next two. Um, if you haven't already, please join the Discord, um, and, uh, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I'll have some, uh, questions for, the uh, comments below, so be ready to, uh, answer any of those questions in the comments. Um, I will be going live tonight, um, to, uh, go through my Grand Arena attack phase. Whoa! 80 Poggle Shards right there. That is fantastic. That gets us off done with Poggle. That gets us done with Poggle. Off of one free Bronzium pack. That's crazy. Wow. Okay. Well, there's another character finished. I was not expecting that. <sighs> Alright, so 20 Anakin shards and 114 Dark Trooper shards, and we will be done with Phase 1. So that came out of nowhere. Um, but yes, I will be going live on Grand Arena on my main account tonight, um, and I am excited about it. I'll give a qu I will give a small sneak peek at Grand Arena. Um at the end of this video, so stick around if you want to see it. Um, I think that we're going to win. I think that I can win this. And so I'm excited for it. I have my defense set up. I think I have a good defense set up. Um, and I think I have a, I think I will have a better attack face than him, but it, it will depend on what he puts on defense. He has a good defense team that I am worried about. So we'll, we'll see what comes of it. But... I'll get. I'll give a quick sneak peek of that um, at the end of this video. All right. Well, I guess and in other nerd news, um, it hasn't been too crazy going on with the nerd news this week. Um, we do know that. Let's see. What's uh, Percy Jackson brought in Lin Manuel Miranda to play Hermes. So. I really, I really enjoyed the Percy Jackson books. Of course, I hated the movies. So I'm excited to see what comes forth uh, with Disney making a series off of it and having Rick Riordan be heavily involved uh, creatively. And so I'm, I'm excited about that to see what comes of it. Uh, let's see what else happened. What else happened? Doctor Who had some good news. Um. So Doctor Who is going to be working closely with Disney um, for the American release of the episodes, and will be going straight to Disney Plus for America's release. What I am excited about because of that is that they just said that it's looking like, if I and I hope I get the terminology right, um, each episode of Doctor Who will have a ten million pound budget um, for each episode. Um, because of the deal with Disney. And so I think that's really cool. And I'm excited about the future of Doctor Who. I, have, I haven't enjoyed the story writing as much the last few years. And so I haven't kept up with it. Um, 
like even with Peter Capaldi, I I had mostly stopped watching while he was the Doctor as well. Um, it just I wasn't enjoying it as much as I had been before. Um, like with Tenet, and so Tenet is my favorite doc is my favorite of all the Doctors I've seen, and so him coming back is very exciting for me. Um, I'm very excited about him coming back and um, seeing what comes of that. So. I'm excited about it, and I'm sure I'll talk about it once that comes out some crazy time next year. Um, I know it's a good ways away. Oh, let's see, what else do we got going on? I think that's everything. That's most everything I got to do on here. Of course, I got Arena to go through and the Galactic War to go through, but I will knock those out. Uh, so, let's see. I'm going to cut. Okay, so we're over at the main account. Um, I'm up to 2.38 million. Just to give a quick little overview of my roster. My roster I'm really liking my roster right now. Um, I've moved over on. I'm going to start working on Mara Jade. Try and build her up to get her star level higher. Just to make her a bit stronger. Um, I am... I have Padme at 7 stars. Y'all were a great part of that. Thank you so much. So I'm starting to get her gear, her mods, and her abilities leveled up. So, and so because of that, I'm wanting to finish off uh, Anakin. Uh, I'm slowly collecting Qui-Gon to make him a part of my Jedi team stronger. Slowly working on Cara Dune and IG-11 just because I want Bam soon. Because I, I could unlock the Razor Crest if I get Bam. Um, and Cartho Nassi... I think I'm just working on him because he's in the Cantina nodes and just trying to work on him uh, to finish him out. So, Brood Alpha. Here's how our Brood Alpha is looking right now. I'm really liking it. Um, and I didn't go for this last Brute um, ability just because I didn't feel like it was worth it enough at the time and I was spending my Omegas on different abilities. Um, but other than that, I have him maxed out and he, I'm liking how he looks. Over time, I'll make him stronger, but I'm liking how he looks. Uh, here's my boss right now. I do have him up to seven stars, and I do have him all maxed out. So now it's just gear, which I mean, he's at gear. What is that? Eleven right now, which I'm happy with. Um, I still got to work on uh, collecting more of the uh, of his ship, but you know that's what that is. Uh, let's see. Other than that, I think my you know those are my biggest um, achievements recently on my characters. I'm finishing off, finishing up Poplu, trying to make my Ewok team stronger. And so, on my, uh, on, on Grand Arena, we are up against Fracase. Um, and I'll just show, do a quick little overview of my defense, and then I'll show his team. So I got my Bastila, Jolie, and Yoda uh, right here in the top. I got Brood Alpha, let me see, Spy, and I think Soldier right here in the bottom. And I have Padma, Pat, Padma, Padme, uh, Kenobi, and Anakin right here in the bottom. And uh, on my ships, I got these ships right here because I thought that would, I'm hoping that'll do really well. Those are some of my some of my better ships. Uh, but my best ships I'm trying to take for uh, offense to try and do better than them. Now, here's their uh, collection. Now, they do have a really scary team right off the bat. They have a great First Order team. I mean, they are doing SLKR Rush, but they're not there yet, which is fantastic for me. Uh, they have a really good First Order team. They have a really nice Geo team, and that's about it. I mean, they got uh, some bounty hunters, and they have some Imperial troopers, but again, that's about it. And like, they, I mean, they got some characters, you know, but, I mean, Darth Vader's level 55, no, no gear on him. Yeah, I mean, Darth Vader's not scary at all, so I think we win this. I really do. I think we can win this. I just got to... I have to worry about if he takes his uh, first order on offense or defense. And what he does with his Geos. You know, so... We'll be talking about that tonight and see what goes on. 
join me tonight. Uh, it's going to be kind of late, probably around 9 30, 10 o'clock for my live stream. Uh, but I will be going live to uh, go through with this uh, attack phase. So I hope to see you there tonight. Um, we'll talk about it more, and I'm happy to talk about this all in the Discord if you want to discuss it there as well. Um, so thank you all for joining. I will see you tonight. Y'all have a great day, and may the Force be with you.